Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. If I may be permitted to indulge in a hyperbole, I'd say the holy grail of mechanical CAD these days is to have a single integrated modeling environment where you can move among parametric edit, direct edit, and even freeform edit. This ultimately lets you create precise rounds and holes, also organic shapes with complex surfaces and easily move and push features and phases around without worrying that something in your history tree would break. In Autodesk Inventor Professional 2012, part of Autodesk Product Design Suite 2012, parametric, direct and freeform take a few steps closer to what one another. The core of the suite, Inventor, remains a parametric modeling environment but now you'll notice that if you ever want to execute a direct edit or a freeform edit, the kind that often involves pushing and pulling faces, vertices and spleens, you can simply click Edit Form button right here. Now this will take you directly into Inventor Fusion program window. This brings up one point. Fusion is included with your purchase of Inventor or Product Design Suite, but it's a separate installation file and a separate program window. So if you plan to use it, or even explore it, you'll need to select it during the installation process of Autodesk Inventor. Now once you're in Autodesk Inventor Fusion environment, you can pick the Edge Editing tool to nudge, push, pull, pinch, and reshape your geometry in ways that you cannot normally do in a mechanical CAD program. If you're happy with the results, you can hit the Return to Inventor button that brings you right back home into your classic parametric inventor environment. You'll see that the feature or the part of the model that involves freeform edits, the ones that you did in Fusion, alias style edits I might call them, are now in your feature tree in Auditor's Inventor Classic, but it appears as an alias object. You can, of course, continue to add new features to it in a normal parametric method which gives you parts that are a blend of parametric edits and freeform edits. The new version of Autodesk Inventor comes with something called Marking Menu. What this means is that if you select a face, a feature, anything, and you right-click on it, it activates a circular setup with the logical choices that are available to you. It makes it very easy for you to pick something that you want to start executing right away. There is also the quick input menu button which allows you to enter numeric values, specify the character of the extrusion or the round and the blends and the holes that you are trying to create and then accept the command without having to leave your modeling environment and look for a command on the menu bar. Part of the product design suite is a new software title called Sketchbook Designer. One of the most creative commands in it, I think, is the Symmetry command, which automatically duplicates your design on one side of the canvas, on the opposite side, except in reverse. Now, imagine this command that is possible in Sketchbook Designer in 2D, but imagine that that's possible in 3D. That's a command that is available in Autodesk Inventor Fusion. Let's take a look at that closely. Now, if you edit your solid spline edges, you'll get this effect. Pretty simple, pretty predictable, as you might expect. But watch what happens when you turn on the symmetry setting before you start your deformation. Now, whatever geometry you create on one side will be reflected on the opposite side of the symmetrical plane that you have defined previously. This will be especially handy in creating complex geometry that are not easily duplicated left and right, like the curvature of a high-end bicycle helmet or designer sunglasses. Inventive Professional also comes with something called Eco Materials Advisor, which allows you to assign materials, manufacturing method, then get a reading of its environmental impact. Once you get your baseline reading, you can start testing out what-if scenarios, maybe making the same product with a different material using another method. 
This gives you a way to compare which materials and methods are better for the environment, but also for your pocketbook, because cost is a factor in its estimates. The product design suite also comes with, among other things, Autodesk Showcase. This is a program that gives you some rendering and simple animation functions. The program is not as complex or time-consuming to master as, say, Autodesk 3D Studio Max, but you can get equally impressive renderings and short fly-throughs using this program, complete with ray tracing and realistic-looking materials. You can read in scenes and models from other Autodesk software like Autodesk Revit for architecture or Inventor. You decide on the level of details you need, and if you import a CAD file, of course, the software will turn it into polygons. Then you're ready to go to work. Autodesk Inventor, Inventor Fusion, Showcase, Sketchbook Designer, and some other components of the new Autodesk product design suite are the topic of a review set to appear in print in an upcoming issue of Desktop Engineering Magazine, so keep an eye out for it. Until next time, this is Kenneth Wong, somewhere between parametric and freeform modeling in Inventor Fusion.